Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just got in a new package. And it is well, I guess you read the title. Man, it's a tight fit in this box. But it is a solder pot. I did make my own. And it still works fine and everything, but the depth of the pot left a little bit to be desired. This is my first time looking at it, and yeah, that's much better. I don't have a ruler nearby. But yeah, this is going to be much better. If it works well, that is. So I'm going to get a screwdriver, open this thing up, and make sure everything's safe first. At first glance, it looks to be pretty good build quality. It's actually pretty thick metal here. Some of the models that I've seen reviews of on eBay, it was really flimsy. But it still does have the sharp metal right here. And um, I've seen a video where the circuit completely bypassed the potentiometer here or the dimmer whatever it is so I definitely want to test that out too and I'll probably hook it up to a variac and see what the wattage draw is and estimate time of at least at lowest temperature how long it takes to reach like equilibrium temperature so what we got here electrodeless temperature controlled solder pot Yeah. Looks to be in Chinglish to clean this product with ethyl alcohol or thinner. Should say use or something. Alright, input voltage AC 110 60 hertz. Well, I think I can figure it out. The reason why I picked this up, besides it being deep deeper, is the price. I got it for exactly fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents including shipping. So pretty cheap. Matter of fact the solder that I bought to use in it cost more. I got this vintage it was listed as vintage and it does look old. Sixty forty one pound and six point six ounces and I verified it myself and it weighed exactly that just like the seller said sixteen dollars and twenty nine cents so the actual solder costs more than the solder pot so well I'm gonna open it up real quick and check it out so there was just four screws on the bottom it's very simple to take apart just like other youtubers reviews of similar ones not the exact model I see an issue already the ground wire is yellow here and it's screwed on to this metal but the problem is they didn't scratch away the paint with my little homemade continuity tester here now the, to the probes touch and the light comes on and you can see this metal nothing if I touch the probes together it's on if I touch two spots on the metal nothing that paint is definitely not conductive so the ground leg on the plug here go into the screw it's no problem but go into the metal case nothing so it's effectively not grounded until I take that screw off and rub off the paint put it back on so there's one issue to solve already and this is extremely simple the circuit board is nothing to it I mean it's it's the potentiometer two capacitors a coil a transistor or MOSFET something like that and yeah the switch so I'm gonna investigate a little farther getting to the circuit board was extremely simple it was just a, a set screw in the knob and then one little nut holding it on holding the potentiometer on and that was the only thing holding the whole circuit board in but Upon further inspection of all the traces, everything does seem to be wired up properly. And, um, and it is fused, so I was glad to see that. I can't say I've ever seen a little fuse case quite like that, but it's got a fuse in it. So, 
besides fixing that little issue with the grounding, I'm going to test this thing out here in a second. Got everything put back together. Now I'm going to slowly bring it up on the variac and see what the estimated current draw is. So here it goes. Well, let's see. Looking at it upside down, unfortunately. Point eight watts at one hundred and twenty volts. Oh man, this thing makes a horrible sound. 81 volts. Alright, much better. So it's definitely expecting at least around 120 volts. At 115 volts and the temperature wide open, 204 watts. I can see it's smoking already. There's nothing in it, it's just initial smoking. I hope it's nothing bad. Doesn't smell like burnt wires or anything. Hundred and fifteen volts and a very act. Might not be the most accurate, but it's about putting it around the 112 mark, I would say. If I turn it down, the voltage on the display goes down. If I turn it up, it also goes down. Well, yeah. I don't know. That smoke smell don't seem good. It's a good thing about eBay though. That's where I got it off of. Is they're good about giving you money back if something's wrong. Well, this is probably going to take, if I go by what the paper says, eight minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. It's now just a few minutes later. If I had to guess, it probably is about eight minutes later. And this is what's left of my solder bar. Whoa, that's still hot. <laughs> yeah, that's what's left of it. You know, it was like this long, and now it's like this. So you're definitely going to want a pound of solder, at least, with this. This was a pound 6.6 .6 ounces, 16.29, and that was including the shipping. But yeah, it, I mean, it got all the way almost to the very tip top. It got too hot to handle, which suddenly it feels even hotter now. But yeah, I'm going to have to use some pliers to put any more in there, but... It's up high, very high enough now anyway. And it's looking at 114 volts being 200 watts with the max, the power, I mean the dial maxed out. So, but if it can keep solder melted all the way to the top, pretty much, I would say I could go weigh this, but I'd say a pound of solder and keep it melted. This is not lead free solder by the way, you know, so. I guess the lead free solder would take even more heat. But it seems to be doing the job. So now I'm just going to do a few tests, like see how long, go ahead and turn it off, see how long it takes to get, after it solidifies, you know, how long it takes to 
get all of that back melted again and just give me a general time limit that way I know when to turn it on set a timer with Google Assistant when it should be ready just things like that for the future and uh, yeah that's, I guess that's about it for this video thanks for watching